Hi, my name is Mary Casillas, and I am an associate with the organization Toxstem. We're going to be finding pie in this video through a scavenger hunt. Did you know that there's actually pie all around you? Pi is a very special number that we use not just in math, but many disciplines in science, technology, engineering, math, even art. So I'm going to show you different ways that you could find pi in your home, in your backyard, or maybe even your playground. The scavenger hunt is very easy to do at home. All you need is a paper to record your measurements. So we have this clipboard that records the items and the measurements we're going to take and a tape measure. You have to have something that's flexible. A ruler or yardstick will not work for this, unfortunately. So if you do not have a tape measure, you could always fold a piece of tape in half or use a piece of string alongside a ruler and use a Sharpie to mark the increments. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Anika, and I'm going to be measuring the circumference and diameter of this cup. So first, I'm going to be measuring the circumference of this cup. And I get 17.5 centimeters. And now I'll measure the diameter. And I get 5.1 centimeters. I wonder what happens when I divide the distance around by the distance across. And by doing that, I got 3.43. Hi, I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to be measuring this paper plate. So first, I'm going to measure the distance around the plate, also known as the circumference. So since it's kind of hard to measure the entire thing, I'm just going to measure half of it and then multiply it by two. So the distance around the plate, well half the distance around the plate is about 14 inches. So the entire circumference is 28 inches. And the distance across the plate is nine inches. So I saw this basketball and it's round. So I want to see if I could find pi of this basketball. So I'm going to measure the distance around our circumference. So I'm going to pick a point. I have these nice black lines to use on a basketball. And this may be a standard measurement. So this is 30 inches around. So I'm gonna to try to measure across, but it's not flat. So I actually can't really get a solid measurement across. Like if I were to cut this basketball in half, it doesn't really work. But I could say this is 15, it's half of 30. So let's see if that calculation works. So we got 30 inches as our circumference around a basketball, which worked, but the best measurement we could get was 15 inches for half of the ball, and that was not flat across a circle, because this is a 3D sphere. So what happened is if we divide 30 by 15, we actually get 2, so that's not very close to these other measurements. So we know that with finding pi in your home or in your backyard, uh, it has to be a flat circle to measure and find pi. The options are endless for finding pi around your home or outside your home. So for the cup, our number at the end was 3.43, the plate was 3.11, and we know the basketball didn't work very well and it was two. But something special happens when we divide the circumference by the diameter of a circle. We actually find pi. Pi is 3.14. So we ask that you look around your house and outside your house and try to see if you could get as close as you can to 3.14. Take a photo and share with us where you found pie around your house.